Hi everybody, hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, today I've got a few items I've picked up over the recent weeks. Um, not done a video for a little while because my phone broke. So I've just had to buy a new one. Well, I should say new to me phone. Didn't bother buying a brand new one, but it's about two models better or three models better of an iPhone. So I don't know if the picture quality or the zoom in or... That's pretty clear. Yeah, I think it might be better because mine was starting to, it was all getting blurry, so I couldn't do a video. Right, so so these are the items I've picked up uh, recently. Um, I've picked them up from um, all over the show, really. Um, so I'll start off with this one. This this pipe wrench is a Baco 134, and this was on eBay in quite nice condition. Um, and I picked up that one in the UK, which is a nice addition to the collection. Um, my buddy uh, Leslie in the US got this really cool um, sale, um, AB uh, Horton, whatever, Baco 4 inch number 69. This is from about 1920 in lovely condition. You can see the printed paper on the back of it as well, which is really nice. Um, inside. Uh, not the correct spanner. It did have a spanner in it, but I told Leslie he could keep it because it was this is this type, but it's a number 69. But I think I've given them all away, so I haven't got one at the minute. Um, I did have about five, but it's not a massively rare spanner. Um, you can find them, um, but the box have, is very sought after, so I was really pleased. So Leslie bought that for me, and I paid him back. Um, <clears throat> and then Leslie found this in, in the US, of all places, this is a Baco number 51, made in Sweden. Um, this is an extremely rare wrench because they only made it from 1912 to 1914, like two, two years or so. So it's really sought after. A simple design, but very difficult to find. Um, probably need to clean in there. It's a bit of dirt, which I haven't cleaned. Um, I just give it a little wax and set it aside. Um, somebody looks like they've pin punched it just there to protect it, to mark it as theirs, I think. Um, but a beautiful. So that will go on the wall. Um, <clears throat> um, um, this one was a swap with a guy. Um, I don't know why I swapped it really. I swapped a really rare wrench. Um, and it's. I didn't realise it's like it's been beaten all the way around the edges on it. I mean, like really bad, like flattened and stuff. Um, just really poor. It's got a hole drilled in it. I did know that someone drilled a hole. I mean, these in Sweden usually sell for about eighty pounds or so, but not with a hole drilled in, probably. But it's still, it's a, it's a nice. I do like these twelve inches, um, twenty threes. It's a good spanner, but it, uh, you know, even the the thumb wheel is pretty bashed. Um, I mean, usually they come with dints, but they're a lot, you know, a lot smoother on, on you know, on the thumb wheels, less bashed. I mean, that's got a lot of marks on it, really, for its age, but comparative to this one, you can see it's had a very, 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 very difficult life, unfortunately, which is a shame. Um, but still, nice addition, but I kind of regret the swap, really. Wouldn't have done it if I had my time again. Um, then, um, <sighs> so then I, I am my friend in um, Norway. Um, <clears throat> my friend in Norway um, um, said he's going to sell some of his collection off. So I bought three items from him. I think his name's Essin from Norway. Um, I got a lovely set or full set of in millimeters, a 51. So these are from the 1920s, 30s, but millimetres, because it's Europe. Um, and then we've got another millimetres, which is a part set. Doesn't have the original screw, so this was like an Allen key screw with a bolt. So I just filed the top of the Allen key off just so it doesn't look like a big, brand new, shiny chrome Allen key. But for now, that'll do. But that's millimetres as well, number 53 set. I do have a couple of other sets of backhoe. This is a number 50. And this, I do actually have, I bought this in the UK. Um, similar to the 51, but the 50 set. Um, that's a 53 set. And this one is also millimetres. Um, 
but it's a smaller set than this one. This is a bigger set, um, but these have got the original knurled, original knurled screws, which are nice. Um, I do have this set as well, which is a number 362, which is also millimeter. And then I have this one here, oh, that's the one I already showed you. This one here, which is a part set, but this one's an inch, five eight, five sixteenths, one quarter inch. Um, so these are the two respectively inch sets. So I've got a few sets of those now, which is really nice. So a nice addition. And then this I thought was really nice. This is a Baco 1773 made in Sweden. Um, and it's, it's got the original box. You can see the sticker where it came. And then in, inside the actual box itself, there's a simple set of um, simple set of an Allen key with with five sockets. They are inch size, and what, that's what's kind of interesting. That says they're SK. I wonder if this was made by SK and rebranded for Baco. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if there's any SK sets which look identical to that. But it it says no. It does say it says made in Sweden. So maybe that SK is not related. I don't know, but they're um, 12 points um, sockets, 12 point sockets, you can see there. So pretty nice. So yeah, um, some interesting, interesting items, don't you think? Um, some interesting items to the collection. Some of them I've got and some of them have not. Really pleased with the things from America the most, especially the little box four inch. I think that's a beauty. Yeah, so look, some lovely items. So big thank you to my buddy Leslie for helping me find those and Essen for doing the swap. Um, <clears throat> really, really good. Really pleased with that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment um, if you've got the time. Um, and also tell me, do you think the, the camera is better? You notice any difference um, with the quality of the zoom? Because I always struggle when I get really old things and I'm trying to read the writing on it, I always struggle to um, read it. But now I think this is going to be better for people who want to know the patent dates and stuff. It's going to be a bit better. Let me have a look, see if I can find something a bit finer. This is really fine. I can't even read that. Boardman's Painting Tower. Towel and Lyle Company, New York. Yeah, I think it's definitely improved. But you guys can be the judge of that. Um, it's a reasonably modern phone. So it should be good. Let me see right, if you can. Yeah, it's definitely clearer. I mean, look how close I am. And it's, yeah, it's definitely clearer. All right, so thanks for watching if you got this far and you're watching me dribble. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye.